monthly. Okay. So that's an easy way to, to break it down so that people get a clear understanding. So if the annual rental value of your property is $2,000 a month, you would end up paying $54 a month in property tax. That would seem, too, bad. That would seem people, too unfair. Some people got scared when they saw the, the, um, the, the annual rental value and valuation form, but that is not what you're going to be paying in taxes. This right. is one of the, the lowest property tax rates in the hemisphere, and it was intentionally done that way so that it would not be onerous to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Fact check. Contrary to the notion that Trinidad and Tobago boasts one of the lowest property taxes in the hemisphere, the reality is that its 3% property tax rate on the annual rental value for residential properties positions it somewhere in the middle when compared to the broader hemisphere. For example, in the United States, the property tax rate varies by state, but some states have a lower property tax rate than Trinidad and Tobago. For instance, Hawaii has a property tax rate of 0.27%. Numerous countries worldwide implement property tax rates based on annual rental values that are lower than Trinidad and Tobago's 3%. For instance, several Caribbean nations, including Barbados, Jamaica, Grenada, St. Lucia, Dominica, St. Vincent and Grenadines, Antigua and Barbuda, and St. Kitts and Nevis, impose property taxes based on annual rental values of under 1% or even lower. This contrasts with other nations like Kuwait, Qatar, and Cambodia, which also maintain property tax rates below the 3% mark. Therefore, the statement by Minister in the Ministry of Finance, Brian Manning, is deemed to be inaccurate.